Hey everyone, Lou here, and uh, yeah, welcome to 2019. I hope you all brought in the New Year's pretty well, and um, hopefully the future seems bright. So um, um, before I go on, I just um, want to make a statement here about the picture you're seeing right now. Uh, don't worry, I'm very much alive. Um, I'm not being held captive by some uh, terrorist organization, or uh, about to jump off a uh, pirate plank. No, this is a, um, I don't want to say a mockery, but just to, you know, just to poke fun at the uh, recent internet uh, meme. Is it meme? Mime? I don't know. You know, when uh, people see something famous from a movie or a show and try to recreate it, like on YouTube. And most of the time it goes viral. Anyway, so this movie on Netflix, um, Bird Box, whatever. I'm not going to go into detail, but... It's kind of like an apocalyptic scenario, and the only way to avoid these um, mysterious creatures is to uh, be blindfolded. So now people are doing these um, internet mimes blindfolded, and or memes, sorry, I don't know the right terminology, anyway, and they're, uh, <clears throat> and they're going around, um, you know, doing random tasks blindfolded. Definitely not a good idea, especially if... You don't know the path or, um, you know, you're just taking a risk being blindfolded. That's never a good idea. So anyway, that's, you know, what that's about. I don't know. Maybe people will see this and it'll be clickbait. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, just a um, quick message here um, about the coming forth into the new year. Uh, what we're leaving behind in 2018. Um, so yeah, 2018 into 2019. Uh, we still got a crappy president. That's my personal opinion. Just, I don't like the guy. Um, you know, not if you're you know into politics, uh, definitely not looking good. Government, uh, the government's still shut down, so you know there's that. But whatever, you know, I'm not gonna go on and on and you know bore you guys to death about that stuff because uh, it's 2019 now, and uh, what do we have to look forward for 2019? Well, hopefully, hopefully more better stuff. Um, you know, hopefully a more uh, unifying uh, country. Maybe we get impeached Trump. That would be nice. Or, you know, I don't know. Just um, all get along in the end. Maybe Hollywood could, uh, you know, invest in a creative writing team and, you know, turn out decent movies. You know, I mean, like, oh, guys, what's going on? I'm talking to you, Hollywood. Uh, when you have Netflix beat you out it's just uh I don't, I just I don't know it's madness the golden era of movies and filmmaking is just you know if it's not a comic book movie um it's you know something that's been done before i don't know <clears throat> but anyway um yeah just uh more hopeful things i don't know it's supposedly the future no flying cars kind of disappointed about that but you know whatever you know can't have Everything, right? Oh yeah, here's a kicker. I just found this out recently. Paganism. That's right. The worship of old gods like Apollo and Hercules and so on and so forth. It's making a comeback. So, uh, yeah, there you go. You know, be fearful. You know, the uh, Judeo-Christian Muslim uh, worshippers. Uh, pagans are coming. <laughs> I don't know. Uh Someone was mentioning this, that there's a rise in that uh, thing. It's mostly peaceful stuff. Don't, you know, I'm not talking about like Hellraiser here. There's going to be demons coming out of the ground. No, nope, just people are going back to what their ancestors uh, worshipped. And, um, hey, look, if it gets you by, whatever, right? You know, this is, you know, uh, a free country. I mean, it's not particularly happening here. It's happening all over the world. But, hey, look, you know. If it stops you from, you know, going uh, insane, hey, look, do whatever works for you, you know. Don't, don't be a follower, be a leader. There's another interesting fact, uh, 74%, um, I'm not sure if it was Americans or just people in general, hate their jobs. I'm going to say Americans because, uh, well, uh, here in the good old USA, uh, just not a lot of happy people. It's not a happy situation at the moment, but whatever. It's work in progress. How long? I don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, that's just a thing. You know, people don't like their job, and it's increasingly showing more and more as time goes by. 
I think it's a combination uh, of blame here, both on the individual and whatever management team is, you know, trying to make the work system work. Well, guys, it doesn't work. So, you know, I don't have to tell you. You know, we need a, a, ho a whole change of pace for, you know, America's uh, workforce. We have to get people interested and kind of like their jobs and don't, you know, talk about the whole, oh, well, you know, if you don't like your job, you should go to college. Well, not everyone could afford college and not everyone wants to be a scientist or a doctor or whatever, despite the money. Okay, some people like mediocre jobs. You know, they work just enough to get by because they have other cool stuff like, you know, podcast or video game playing or whatever it is that makes them happy. It's not work. But, you know, it would be better if the workplace was a little more, less stressful and at ease. And, you know, you don't go home having nightmares about it. I don't know. That's just my two cents. You know, easing in to 2019. Time just doesn't stop. I'm an enemy of time. I hate it. I wish I could slow it down. But, um, you know, just trying to find the time to uh, fit everything in all at once. Uh, writing, you know... Uh, just, you know, let off some steam playing video games, uh, doing this stuff, you know, podcasts and whatnot. And, um, you know, just try to be creative. However, if you guys still feel like you're trapped in a um, <clears throat> everlasting downward spiral called life in this new year, drink some mead. Just totally kidding. Uh, for real, um, I did get the opportunity to try mead. If you guys don't know what mead is, it's a very old drink. It's like white wine honey. And um, uh, Vikings drank it. Ancient Gauls, Celt people, you know, barbarian types. And uh, I don't think the Romans digged it too much. But anyway, it's uh, pretty sweet. It's sweet in taste and just, yeah, it's a cool drink. You know, drinking something old. I'm sure it's not the same ingredients that were used back then. But, you know, it's pretty close. Yeah, that's, you know, just figure I'd throw that in there. Cheers to a better future, and hopefully uh, 2019 is that. If not, we still got 2020. 2020 kind of sounds cooler than 2019. I know it's a year away, but, I mean, come on, 2020. That's it, We have to have flying cars or something, you know, robots, droids, I don't know, anything. Come on, guys, it's 2020. I wanted the 2020 of, you know, the freaking sci-fi, you know, world. I don't know, it would be interesting, say the least. Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> if you ever come across anything in life, um, pay it forward. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't know, I'm not about to hand out uh, life lessons here, I just figure I say that, you know, passing on the charm and the karma, you know. Alright guys, that's all I got. Uh, sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. I just wanted to kind of, you know, get it out of the way and uh, have something for... 2019 and uh there will be more i promise well everyone uh keep on keeping on and until next time peace